Christ my channel. Today we continue with chapter 6, alternating current. In this video, we're going to discuss on 6.3, resistance, reactance, and impedance. Okay, so before we start to discuss the example, okay, let's go through first the equations that we will use for this subtopic. Okay, so this is for example, let's say this is RCL series, okay, where here we have the uh, V source, okay, and this is the resistor, capacitor, inductor. Okay, so the V source here we can write as IZ, okay, where Z here is the impedance, uh, meaning that it's like similar like R total. Okay, and R here we can also write it as VR, where VR is equal to IR. Okay, and for capacitor here is VC, where VC is equal to IXC. Okay, so XC is actually the capacitive reactance. Okay, for inductor also we can label it as VL, and VL we can find it by using IXL, where IXL, XL is the inductive reactance. Okay, so if let's say you don't have this value, xc, you can use xc equals to omega 1 over omega c to find or 1 over 2 by fc to find the capacitive reactance. Okay, similar with the inductive reactance where we also can use xl equals to omega l to find or 2 pi fl to find the inductive reactance. Okay, okay, next. If let's say this is a RCL series, meaning that the facial diagram for this RCL series, okay, we will have when I start from zero degree, okay, when I start from when I start from zero degree, okay, our VR is in phase with the current, okay, whereas VL leads I by ninety degree and VC lags. Okay, let's I by 90 degree. So this is the facial diagram for RCL series. Okay, so if let's say, okay, if let's say VL is greater than VC, meaning that our V source is acting above the X exit. This is our V source and this is the angle theta. Okay, if let's say V L is smaller than VC, meaning that at the end for Y component, okay, for Y component our V source is acting below the X exit. Okay, so this is our V source and this is the angle. So it depends on whether VL is greater than VC or VL is smaller than VC. Okay, so this is our facial diagram for RCL series. Okay, so if you want to find the value for V source, okay, so we need to find by using V source equals to VR squared plus VL minus VC squared. Okay, because VR, VL, VC are not in phase. Therefore, we cannot write V source equals to, okay, we cannot write V source equals to VR plus VL plus VC uh, because VL, VR, VC are not in phase. Okay, so we must use theorem Pythagoras where we use X component square plus Y component square to find the resultant. Okay, so this is the first equation to find V source. Okay, if you want to find the impedance, uh, impedance similar like R total, okay? Uh, so R total or the impedance is equal to R square plus XL minus XC squared. So this is the second equation that we will use. And if you want to find the phase angle or the theta, okay, we can use tangent theta. Okay, tangent theta is equal to VL minus VC over VR or you can use XL minus XC over R. So this is the third equation for that we will use. Let's continue with example 5. The capacitor has a RMS of the current of 21 milliampere and the frequency is 60 hertz where the RMS voltage across it is 14 volt. So what is the capacitance of the capacitor? Okay, meaning that we want to find the value for C. Okay, so C, we can find it by using C. XC is equal to omega 1 over omega C or 1 over 2 pi FC. Okay, so since we have the frequency, so we will use the second equations where xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi f is 60c. Okay, but xc, the value we don't have, huh? the value for xc we don't have, so we can use vc, okay, equals to i at c. Okay, since we have the voltage across the capacitor, so it's 14, and i is equal to 21 milli. xc, okay, the so we can find is equal to value Okay, we can substitute inside here. Xc is equal to 667. Therefore, the capacitance of the, of the capacitor is equal to 
3.98 exponent negative 6 farad. Okay, for B, if the frequency increase, will the current in the capacitor increase, decrease, or stay the same? So explain. Okay, so from the equations given here, okay, we notice that V is equal to I X C and X C also equals to 1 over 2 pi F C. So what happens when the frequency is increased? Huh? When the frequency increase, X C will reduce. Okay, so when X C reduce, meaning that the current will increase huh? as the V source here is actually constant. Okay, so from the explanation here, Okay, when the capacity reactance is inversely is proportional to the frequency. So the capacity reactance will decrease. Okay, will decrease as I mentioned just now if the frequency increases. So since the current in the capacitor is inversely proportional to the capacity reactance, therefore the current here will decrease. Okay, current will increase when the capacity reactance is decreased. Okay, so we can use the equations to find out the answer. C calculate the I RMS in the capacitor at the frequency of 410. Okay, so we will recalculate back I RMS since the frequency already changed, uh, changed to uh, increase to 410. Okay, so similar V equals to I XC, where XC is equal to 1 over 2 pi FC. So I substitute inside 2 pi frequency now already increased to 410. And C, just now we already found uh, C is the capacitance, uh, is equal to 3 point. 98 exponent negative 6 therefore the capacity reactance is equal to 97.5 ohm okay it's actually decreasing okay since the frequency increase so we substitute back where v rms still the same okay 14 i rms okay now later it will increase huh? okay so we need to find out the new i rms and xc is equal to 97.5 ohm so finally i rms is equal to 0 0.144 ampere okay Next, we'll go to example 6. A VRMS 12.2 volt with a frequency 1 kHz is applied to the 0 0.29 millihenry inductor. Okay, so this is only involved inductor. Okay, so meaning that the alternating current here is only connected with inductor. Okay, this is VL. Okay, and this is our V source. Number 1. What is the IRMS in the circuit? Okay, so V equals to IR. Okay, V equals to IR. So our V RMS here is equal to IR. So here, because it's only inductor, so we will substitute in XL, the inductive reactance. Okay, so V is 12.2. I, we don't know. Okay, XL here is not given, but they give you the value for L and also the frequency. So we can find XL, where XL is equal to 2 pi FL. So I substitute 2 pi, frequency is 1 kilo, so it's 1000, and the inductor is 0 0.29 milli hendry. Therefore, XL is equal to 1.82 ohm. So I substitute inside here 1.82, therefore I R RMS will equal to 6.7 ampere. Okay, B, determine the peak current for a frequency As of usual, V equals to 5 kilohertz. L, okay, so now here is equal to 12.2. Okay, so when frequency increases, XL also okay, will increase. Okay, XL, we need to find the and XL since the frequency already increased. We need to find the value increase. for so I XL not, not equal to IRMS. 2 okay. pi So we determine XL. the peak current, the peak current the the frequency is 2.5 kilo. And inductor here is still the same. So it's 0 0.29 milli Henry. Okay, then for XL, the new XL is equal to 4.5. IRMS will okay, equal so to 2.675 ampere. Therefore, IRMS okay, so here, since here, I know that IRMS, so the value that I will get also IRMS. IRMS. So, therefore, I naught will equal to 2 times IRMS 2.675. Okay, so the final answer for the peak current will, e will equal to 3.78 ampere. Okay, so this is example 6. So we continue with example 7. A voltage represented by the equation V equals to 15 psi 377T is applied to a pure capacitor. Okay, so this is a case where the alternating current connects with only a capacitor. Okay, where Vc here is equal to I at C. Okay, and they give you the capacitor with the capacitance of 250 microfarad. So number one, determine the value for VRMS. Okay, so since here we have V0, okay, this is the value for V0. So our V RMS is equal to V0 over Z2. So it's 15 over Z2, we will get 10.6 volt. B, 
find the frequency. Okay, here already give you the omega. And we know that omega equals to 2 pi f. Okay, so we substitute omega is 377. Therefore, frequency is equal to 377 over 2 pi. Therefore, we will get the frequency of the voltage is equal to 60 hertz. C, find the capacitive reactance. Huh? Capacitive reactance actually is at C. Where XC is equal to 1 over omega C or 1 over 2 pi FC. Okay, so since here we already have the omega, so we will use this equation 1 over omega C. Yeah? It's much more easier. Okay, so we substitute inside 1 over 377 C, yeah? where C is equal to 250 microfarad. Okay, so microfarad. Therefore, the capacitive reactance is equal to 10.6. D, find the value for IRMS flowing through the capacitor. IRMS is equal to VRMS over XC. So since we already obtained just now, VRMS is equal to 10.6. So I substitute 10.6 and XC is equal to 10.6. Okay, so therefore IRMS is equal to 1 ampere. Okay, last, find the equations representing the current. Okay, so we must refer back. Okay, we must refer back here. So we know that. Generally, when I start from 0 degree, our Vc is let I by 90 degree. Okay, so this is general facial diagram for I and also Vc. Okay, now if you refer back here, the equations given, the equation already mentioned that V is starting from, okay, V must starting from a sine graph. Okay, so sine graph meaning that, okay, let's say this is the facial diagram. Okay, when T equals to 0 degree, our V also start from 0 degree, okay? Meaning that this is a sine graph for VC. Okay, so when it start from T equals to 0, our VC also must start from 0. Okay, so meaning that this VC, you must shift upward. Therefore, our I here also, it must shift to 90 degree. So this is the value for... So this is the facial diagram for VC versus I. Okay, meaning that uh, VC will always lets I by 90 degree. Okay, so if I say VC start from 0 degree from the equations given here, okay, meaning that our I also must start from 90 degree. Okay, so this is the diagram uh, where I must start from a cos graph. Uh, if you compare here, okay, this is a facial diagram for an I, it must start from a cos graph. Okay, so I is a cos graph. Uh, so I will write here, I is equal to I naught cos omega t. Then you substitute in the value where I naught is not given. Okay, so we can find I naught. Okay, since I is equal to 1 ampere, so I naught will equal to 2 times I RMS. Okay, where 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So I substitute here 2 cos omega t. Omega, we substitute back 377 t. Okay, so this is the new equation for the current. Okay, next example A. A voltage V represented by the equation V is equal to 10 sine 314 T is applied across a pure inductor of the inductance of 200 millihenry. Okay, so this is a case where it only connected with a inductor. Okay, where our inductor VL is equal to IXL. Okay, next, find the VRMS. Okay, so as usual, VRMS is equal to V0 over S2. So from the equation given, V0 is 10. Eh? So it's here, 10. So it's 10 over 2, we will get 7.07 .07 volt. Okay, next to find the frequency. So omega is equal to 2 pi f and also equals to 314. Therefore, the frequency is 314 over 2 pi. So we will get 50 hertz. Okay, find the inductive reactant. So it's equal to XL equals to omega L. Okay, where omega is 314 times the induct times the inductor 200 milli henry okay so after pressing the calculator we will get 62.8 and the unit is ohm next d find the irms where irms is equal to vrms over xl okay so we look back vrms just now is 7.07 .07 and xl is 62.8 ohm so after pressing calculator, I RMS is equal to 0 0.113 ampere. Okay, next, find the equation representing the current. Okay, so we must look back. Okay, we must refer back. As we know generally, okay, generally when I start from 0 degree, VL will leads. Okay, will leads I by 90 degree. 
Okay, so now if we refer back to the equation, V is equal to 10 sine 314t. So our VL here is a sine graph. Okay, VL is a sine graph, meaning that, okay, this is a sine graph, meaning that when t equals to 0, VL also will start from 0 based on the equation sine. Okay, so when t equals to 0, VL will start from 0, meaning that our VL here, it will turn clockwise. Okay, turn clockwise to start from 0 degree. Okay, so when VL turn clockwise going downward, I also it must turn to negative cos. Okay, you must. Okay, so when VL turn clockwise going downward to zero degree, I also will turn clockwise and huh, going downward. Okay, so our new I, it will go ninety degree below the x exit. Okay, so this is the graph. So if you want to plot the graph for I, okay, where I will start from a cos graph. A negative cos graph, okay, because it starts from a negative cos graph, huh? because it starts from negative 90 degree, okay. So our i here is equal to negative i not cos graph. So we substitute in the value negative i, where i is equal to uh, i not is equal to third i rms, okay. So third 2 times 0 0.113, therefore i not we will get 0 0.16, okay. So you substitute here 0 0.16 cos omega is 314t okay so this is the equation for the current okay so if you uh, refer here actually the equation here is actually wrong huh? this is the new equation okay negative 0 0.16 cos 314t so this is the correct answer okay so that's all for part one we will continue with part two see you on next video